Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today we're going to be working on a 2013 Subaru Outback. I'm going to be doing a right rear speed sensor. It's going to be very easy. I want to be the guy that shows you how to do it. If you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. All right, so you're driving your car and you notice all these lights are on. Um, you notice that your speedometer for some reason stopped working. And uh, yeah, you want to figure out what's going on. You want to pull the code and more than likely it's an ABS sensor that's going to cause all these things. So like I said, you'd pull the code and figure out what's going on with it. For this particular vehicle, we found out that it's the right rear ABS sensor. Your particular case may be something different. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace the sensor, clear the code, and re-road test it. I should just state that we um, raised the vehicle up off the ground. We made sure that it was uh, safely supported. And we have the wheel just barely touching the ground so it won't spin when I try to loosen these. I'm gonna use my 19 millimeter socket and I'm gonna loosen these. All I'm gonna do is break them free. I'm not gonna go too far with them because I don't want my wheel to be able to wobble with the weight of the vehicle, even though there isn't very much, and I don't want it to damage my studs. So now that I get them loose, I'll bring the vehicle up, I'll make sure it's nice and safely secured, and then I'll remove these lug nuts and take the wheel off. Now I'm just gonna remove all the lug nuts, I'll get the wheel down, and we'll move on to the next step. Last lug nut's coming free, I'm just holding the wheel so it can't come down on me. I'm gonna safely bring it down. Set it aside. Now we can take a look at our ABS sensor. Here's the ABS wire right here. Runs up and along this, and up into here. So it feels like this is where the connector is going to be. I'm going to pull this pin, try to pull this aside, see if I can disconnect it, and then we'll move along to disconnecting it from the uh, hub itself. So now I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of penetrant. Maybe. There we go. Okay. I'm going to let that sit while I move over to here. I'm going to pull this little push clip because this is where my ABS wire seems like it's going up into. So I'm just going to pull out the center. Okay, there it is, little push clip. Right now it's in the unlock position. Once you push it in, you push this in, it spreads those ears and it locks it. Here we go. Here's our ABS wire. So let's see if we can disconnect this. I'm going to try to push in right there. All up inside here, there's quite a bit of dirt and stuff, which is uh, gonna kind of block me up from trying to push this locking mechanism. Because essentially, right here is part of the bottom part, and this is part of the top. You need to be able to get that top part pushed in. There we are. We'll just check it, make sure there's no funny colors. Electrical connectors, you don't want any funny colors, okay? So we're gonna come back behind here. I've got a little forky tool. And you can use whatever you've got, but essentially I just wanna get this freed up from the body of the car. Just a little push clip thing. Slides in, locks in, okay? Next we're gonna come up here. And if you have a pocket screwdriver or whatever you have in your hand like me, you can just push right in this little center hole. And that should come down. There we are. Okay, this was just pressed up inside there. Easy peasy. There's a bracket right here that runs along the control arm in your ABS wire. If you're replacing the ABS wire and you got it from Subaru, uh, it should come with the bracket itself. So mine came with a bracket. So I'm just gonna take the whole bracket right off of there. I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter. Turn these bolts to the left, obviously. And work it back and forth a little bit. Just kind of helps break everything free. Feels like we're almost all the way out here at this point. Or maybe I'm just hopeful. Thank you Subaru for the world's longest ABS wire bolt. Doesn't make any sense because the bracket that it goes through is only that thick. So uh, yeah. Anyway, moving along. We've got another 10 millimeter here. And then we've got one that holds the um, sensor itself right into the knuckle. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those other two. There it is, another long one. Now I'm just gonna get this last one right here. The one I sprayed with the penetrant obviously comes out a little easier. Almost there. There it is. Same as the other two. Nice. Should be able to move this sensor around. 
There it is. Here's our problem. Look at how that's worn at an angle. I'll show you what the new one looks like in comparison. And we'll, then we'll uh, replace it with the new one, okay? Okay. So there we go. That's our uh, two different sensors there. Now we'll just get rid of this one. Oh, no, wrong one. This one. <laughs> and we'll put in our brand new one. I've got some copper never sees, just a little spray. I'm gonna spray it on all those bolt holes. Go down here, got one right there, one right there. That's just a connector, we don't have to worry about that. And then up here. So now we can go ahead and install our sensor. Something that's usually good to do would be, um, you know, take a peek in there, just make sure that everything's good. I know it's brand new, but you just never know these days. Um, so those look great. If you have a little bit of um, silicone, just grab a little bit. And then I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it right here, okay? And this is just gonna help keep moisture out from in between the connectors. And so somewhere down the line in case, I don't know, I, this car goes into some water pretty deep, water won't get in there and cause any issues. My sensor side, I'm gonna bring it in. Slide it down in the hole, just like that. I'm gonna run the rest of the wire. I've got all my little bolt holes lined up here. I never see this is gonna make this nice. If you found that your bolts were pretty rusted, you know, you could try to clean them up. That might be a good idea. Mine weren't really too bad on this particular vehicle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these up. There we are. We don't need to go crazy tight on these. You know, I know it's a long ratchet, but you don't need to really, you know, crush them down or anything like that. Although maybe these bolts, by the time you get them almost all the way in, you might be ready to just really want to do something. Keep your cool. It's just a car. Could write a strong letter to Subaru if you wanted to. They probably won't care. Okay, got a little clip here. If you want to, you can replace this one or you can just uh, take this one off. You do you, boo-boo. Let's take a look at it and see if it's, looks like it's probably pretty easy to pop off of there. So since I got a new one, might as well use it. Just gonna get this one out of here, hopefully. That's what the old one looks like. Okay, this is just gonna press right in. It's got little finger locking clips. Get a little wiggle, a little tug. It's going nowhere. Cool. Got a brand new clip on this, All right? So I'm just gonna press it into our hole. It's the oblong hole, not the circle one, obviously. You can't put that in there. It goes all the way over here. Okay, so I'll press her in. Get this on here. Give it a little tug, make sure it's locked in. It needs to be locked in, very important. Got a little push clip. I'm just gonna put it back in the hole we took it from. It's happy there. There we go. This is nice and tucked up against here. ABS wire is secured away from everything. If you ended up breaking any of these bolts or the ABS wire can flop around, you're gonna need to figure out how to uh, get it secured, okay? You use something like a wire tie or whatever you need to do. Just take a peek, double check, make sure we got everything on there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put the wheel back on and torque it up. All right, it's time to get the wheel up. We wanna make sure that we're lifting it carefully. Um, we don't wanna bend over and try to lift with our back, okay? You wanna just come over to the side of it, roll it right up your leg, it's nice and easy, okay? Then you can use your leg muscle and your ab muscle. Just lift it right up, it's easy peasy. No pain, no strain on the back, okay? All right. I've got all these lug nuts bottomed out. I didn't tighten them up very much, just hand tight, bottom them out. I'm gonna bring the vehicle back down so the wheel's just barely touching the ground so it can't spin. And then I'm gonna torque these up in a star pattern. So here we go. We're gonna get this puppy torqued up. We're gonna use our 19 millimeter. We're gonna go in a star pattern, okay? We're not gonna go in a circle. 
Circles are nice and everything, but stars are pretty. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. The reason for that is so when we're tightening the wheel, if it's kind of, you know, cocked a little bit or off to the side, just kind of angled, it's not sitting perfectly straight up against the rotor slash hub, and you go ahead and you torque going around in a circle, it might just be kinked, okay? Now you drive it down the road, hit a bump, whatever you might do, the wheel's doing this, and then it gets looser, looser, looser. All your lug nuts loosen up, eventually your studs break, your wheel comes off. Big issues. Anyway, star pattern, crisscross, whatever you gotta do, okay? 88 foot pounds with my 19 millimeter. Okay, so I did star, and then I just went around again because, well, that's how I do it. I want to make sure it's good to go. Um, so now we've completed our service. Pretty easy. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.